Hello everyone, welcome to the Street Crime UK YouTube channel. Thank you for joining us. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more exciting true crime content. Today we look at a county lines drug dealing couple that have been jailed for exploiting vulnerable young men in the supply of heroin and crack cocaine throughout Devon and Cornwall, including Penzance. Itman Ismail, 28, from Stratford and Omori Nixon, 20, from Ilford were convicted of three counts of human trafficking involving four youths between December 2019 and March 2020, having pleaded guilty to the offences. Mr Nixon was also convicted of conspiracy to supply Class A drugs, heroin and crack cocaine. Mr Nixon was sentenced to seven years and ten months in prison, and Miss Ismail was sentenced to four years in prison. Miss Ismail and Mr Nixon were convicted at Exeter Crown Court on the 2nd of December following an 11 month investigation by officers from the Devon and Cornwall Police Torquay Criminal Investigation Department which began on the 24th of January 2020. They were sentenced Thursday the 28th of January at Exeter Crown Court. The investigation represents the first county lines linked human trafficking case to lead to a conviction in Devon and Cornwall. The defendant's conspiracy to supply Class A drugs in the Devon and Cornwall from London ran from the 16th of December 2019 to the 13th of March 2020. During this time, Mr Nixon and Miss Ismail, who were in a relationship, made numerous trips from London to Devon and Cornwall. Vulnerable youths were transported in on these trips used to carry heroin and cocaine inside their bodies. Police found two of the boys to be carrying large amounts of heroin and crack cocaine inside their rectum. One of the teenagers had 80 wraps, 10.8 grams of crack cocaine, and 49 wraps, 5 grams of heroin inside of him, totaling £1,290, while the other was found to have 39 wraps, 6.12 grams of crack cocaine, and 23 wraps, 2.28 grams of heroin totaling £1,100 inside of him. Forensic toxicologists ruled that if the packages inside the boys had split, they could have died. Three out of the four youths had been assigned as high-risk missing children at the time they were located by police. Miss Ismail was employed as a deputy manager with a care group in London which supported vulnerable young adults between 2017 and early 2020. She had a preference to working with boys and was assigned as a key worker to Mr Nixon in December 2018. Miss Ismail and Mr Nixon came to the attention of Devon and Cornwall police officers on the 22nd of January 2020, when officers conducted a stop check on a vehicle they deemed suspicious, carrying the defendants and two young men on the A38 near Plymouth close to midnight. One of the passengers was identified as a vulnerable young missing person and was detained. Footage captured by an officer's body-worn camera reveals Miss Ismail falsely claiming that the 15-year-old in the car was not a child. Detectives subsequently proved that the boy had been transported to the address by Miss Ismail and Mr Nixon, and it was suspected cuckooed location and address used by the county lines drug dealers to deal drugs from. Later in the investigation, detectives located a further address in Torquay, which they also believed to be cuckooed, where drugs and cash were seized. The next day, on January 24th, police stopped the same car in Torquay, discovering the defendants with a 15-year-old and 16-year-old boy in the back. All occupants were arrested, it was at this point that drugs were discovered inside the two teenagers. The defendants were bailed and the investigation continued. Detectives discovered Miss Ismail and Mr Nixon's repeated use of at least seven different hire cars, costing around £3,400 for journeys between the capital and the West Country, with Miss Ismail clocking up almost 11,000 miles in four months between December and March. The internal dash camera inside one of the cars was found to have been covered over with a sticker to conceal the activity of the occupants. Their trips to the West Country involved prolonged stays at Airbnbs in Plymouth and Plimpton, totaling around £3,000 in four months. Their complex jigsaw investigation led detectives to also tracing mobile phones used by the defendants and the young men to the journeys made. On the 12th of March, Miss Ismail and Mr Nixon were arrested in a hire car in Sidcup, London after the detectives had secured evidence of the pair's involvement in the county lion's drug trafficking. They were remanded in custody. The investigation team was assisted by officers from Operation Orochi, a special crime group in the Metropolitan Police set up to disrupt and dismantle county lines running out of London. Met officers assisted Devon and Cornwall police detectives with London-based inquiries and arrested Mr Nixon at his home address in Ilford, where they discovered more suspected Class A drugs and items linking the pair to vulnerable young men. The examination of Miss Ismail's bank accounts revealed that in little over two months, between January and March 2020, more than 7,000 
£1,000 entered her accounts through third party transfers and cash deposits, and Mr. Nixon received more than £6,000. Further examination of the mobile devices belonging to Miss Ismail received email evidence suggesting that she was applying for care home management positions in Devon and Cornwall while on trips trafficking the youth victims to the counties. While the defendants were remanded, the investigation involved seizing a microphone from Mr. Nixon, which was located in his cell which he used to contact at least two of the child victims. The officer in the case, Detective Constable Ben Paul, who is also a modern slavery slash human trafficking specialist investigator, said that this was an extremely complex investigation and required us piecing together a mosaic of evidence which would prove that Mr. Nixon and Miss Ismail were linked to a number of different youth victims and isolated incidents. Early on, we recognized the warning signs indicating that young people involved may be the victims of human trafficking. Evidence showed that Mr. Nixon and Miss Ismail arranged and facilitated the travel and accommodation of each vulnerable youth victim and these youths were being exploited and being used to carry and deal Class A drugs. The jigsaw of evidence was pulled together through the collaborative working of a number of different specialist and expert teams within the police. The supply of Class A drugs on the street of Devon and Cornwall has a massively detrimental effect on the community. This type of criminal activity and exploitation pits the lives of vulnerable youths being used at serious risk. I hope that these convictions will send a message to organised crime groups and individuals who are considering travelling to Devon and Cornwall to commit these types of of crimes, that it will not be tolerated and robust action will be taken by the police. Legislation such as the Modern Slavery Act will be utilised to convict those responsible where the evidence supports those charges. This case is even more shocking due to the fact that Miss Ismail, who is pleaded guilty to human trafficking, held such a position of trust and was specifically trained and responsible for protecting and safeguarding young people. It is vital that the police and partner agencies are aware of this type of crime and the early signs and do as much as we can to recognise and safeguard those vulnerable members of society and young people who may be at risk of being exploited. Chief Constable Sean Sawyer, Devon and Cornwall Police and National Police Chiefs Council NPCC, lead for the Modern Slavery and Human Trafficking said, This is the culmination of exceptional work by Devon and Cornwall Police Officers who work closely with the Metropolitan Police Service Operation Orochi team. The support from the Home Office and the funding the NPCC Modern Slavery and Organised Immigration Crime Team based in Devon and Cornwall and the Operation Orochi is invaluable in not only progressing UK proactive operations but also the associated intelligence sharing and improvements in investigations. What do you think about Miss Ismail and Mr Nixon's crimes and their use of teenagers as drug mules? Thanks for joining us today. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a like and a share, and leave any thoughts or suggestions you have in the comments section. We love to read through them all. And if you're new but enjoy UK true crime content, then subscribe to see when our newest video releases. And as always, stay safe.